After about 30 minutes on 350 degrees, this is what we have. I'm gonna scoop these pretty babies off onto a plate. Pour, gonna pour all that cardiac juice into a pot on my stove. I'm gonna pour about a cup and a half of hot water into the juice from the burger. We have like a Primo commercial type um, machine in our, in our house. That's where I got the hot water from. And then I'm gonna turn my gas stove on about medium, get that boiling. In the meantime, I'm gonna throw these in the microwave because who has time to peel potatoes? Not me, and these are just as good. Got those juices boiling, throw in two big bouillon cubes, whatever brand of choice, I guess, I don't know. Then I'm gonna open up and whisk in three packs of McCormick Brown Gravy Mix. After three packs of the gravy mix, I realized I needed more water, so I added one cup of water from the tap. And I'm just gonna keep whisking this and bring it to a boil while I wash my uh, pan that I cook the burger steaks in. My pan is clean again. Spray, spray, spray with some nonstick cooking spray, whatever your choice is. Throw the patties back over in them. In a certain order. Got that. Meanwhile, my gravy is still boiling. Getting ready to turn that off and pour them over my hamburger patties. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And the moment has arrived. Total satisfaction. Pour your gravy over those. Yep. I know that looks like such a mess. Simply just wrap those uh, burger steaks with aluminum foil with the gravy over them, throwing them back in the oven and checking on my microwave taters. So with the leftover hamburger steaks, I just put those in the skillet to fry because I have two kids that will not eat steak and gravy. Um, Gary sometimes chastises me like, you should make them eat whatever. I'm not like that. I don't roll with 1970s parenting. Go ahead and judge me. I really don't care. Maggie and Maverick, um, we will eat hamburger just fried like this. Maggie likes it with A1 sauce. Maverick will just eat it plain. So I have absolutely no issues with cooking them meat separately as long as they eat. I'm a mom like that. <laughs> Potatoes are done, so the microwave is open. I'm gonna make these Hanover whole green beans exactly how they say on the bag for microwave instructions. Turn those suckers down on medium low and let them cook. Gonna throw these, gonna throw these babies in the oven and get them warm. So after the green beans are done in the microwave, I'm gonna cut them open, put them in the colander, drain all the juice off, and then yes, I have this pan getting hot with some bacon grease in it. I know, so much cardiac issues going on here today. So after the green beans have drained all the juices off, have them in the colander for a hot minute, I will transfer them over into my pan that I sprayed with some pan grilling and bacon grease. In the meantime, my daughter has come home from school. She's trying on dresses for her spring formal. She's absolutely gorgeous. I am. <laughs> Green beans are frying in the bacon grease. In the meantime, I'm going to put some potato slayer. Fully aware these aren't potatoes, but the seasoning is amazing. Let's we'll sprinkle some of that on there. Oh. Just go wild with it. So I had some frozen broccoli too, cooked that in the microwave, put it over on my colander, drained the juices off of it, put it over in a pot on the stove, added a half a stick of butter and some salt, and that's where we're at. And dinner is served on our finest china. Yummity yum yum yum.